Cybersecurity salaries have again increased across the board for 2022. This is the salary guide from Decipher Bureau, which just came out recently. And incidentally, this was the same salary guide I referenced last year when I applied for my current job as a penetration tester. So I think it gives a pretty uh, accurate representation of what the market rates are uh, at the moment. And I like how it uh, breaks things down into the various roles in cybersecurity. And it also includes uh, these junior, mid and senior breakdowns as well uh, for uh, these various roles. Uh, by the way, uh, the junior, mid, senior represent uh, zero to three years of experience, three to six for medium and seven years uh, for senior. So last year when I applied uh, the, for this job uh, as a penetration tester, I started on a 75k plus a superannuation. By the way, these figures here include a superannuation, which is a 10% in Australia. So last year I was on 75k plus superannuation, which makes it 82k, uh, which is pretty much a bang on um, in the salary guide. Now, after one year, I just had an annual performance review and my salary did get bumped up again to 92.5 plus superannuation. So it makes it uh, 102K in terms of a total compensation. Uh, again, it falls within the market rates, which I'm pretty happy about, you know, um, working in tech. Uh, obviously, a big problem is sometimes when you uh, work in companies, uh, for a while your salaries are sort of just lag the market rates but um for this company um the salaries are actually getting raised to at least to match the market conditions uh, which is really good to see and the job is really chill as well so i'm pretty happy at this job um last year actually i did notice that the uh, penetration test the salaries have gone up uh, quite a bit compared to uh, GRC. Uh, last year, I've actually um, got the salary guide here from 2021. Um, you can see that uh, penetration testing roles actually lag uh, GRC roles. And this year, they are pretty much uh, the same now, which is uh, which is surprising. Uh, GRC is a good way to get into cybersecurity, by the way, uh, especially if you want to get into management. And there's not too much competition uh, for GRC roles uh, compared to penetration testing, because obviously uh, people trying to get into cybersecurity, everyone wants to uh, hack stuff. Um, do a penetration testing, uh, but that's not always the most easy path uh, into cybersecurity. So uh, GRC are definitely a good option to consider, and you can see uh, that the pay is a pretty comparable and actually uh, still slightly higher uh, than a penetration testing. Um, so. For penetration testing, um, after you've done it for a while, you can either specialize into a red team or an application security specialist. And uh, for a GRC roles, uh, you can usually go into a management um, type of roles. Uh, for security analysts, um, they can go into a differ specialist, a digital forensics and incident response, which uh, actually pays the highest um, out of all these uh, technical roles. Um, only if you go into management, you can actually get a higher rate uh, for incident response, uh, which is interesting uh, to note. So I'll chuck these uh, two salary guides in the video description below if you are interested and you want to uh, look at these numbers a bit more yourself. So still a very strong uh, salary growth within the industry, still a really good time to get into cybersecurity in general. Uh, you can see that uh, when you get more experience, the salaries actually increase by quite a bit. And every year the ranges seem to be uh, still going up as well. So you get the uh, double benefit of the industry growing and also your experience growing as you uh, gain more experience um, in this field.
Now, some people have asked me in the past whether being a consultant is a good work-life balance, whether it's very stressful. Now, I haven't really felt much stress um, in this job at all, to be honest. Um, not really sure whether it's just this job, whether <laughs> this is just a good team to work for or the clients are good, but uh, I haven't really felt a much stress in my current job. It's super chill, actually and um, I can do like my own self-study after work and I still don't really feel um, any burnout. So yeah, I don't know, um, just my experience uh, for me, not really stressful at all. Um, maybe it's different for some other companies. I can't really comment uh, on that because this is my uh, first full-time role as a pen tester. Um, not really sure whether these, um, notes here of a zero to three years experience only count for uh, full-time roles uh, in the industry because I had some prior experience before this, but for a full-time penetration testing, I have only done it for one year and a little bit. So I'm still in the junior category and uh, you know, pretty good uh, salary growth um, in this uh, industry, I feel. Uh, a lot of uh, opportunity to grow and uh, learn and there's a uh, plenty of uh, different uh, opportunities to branch out in like uh, being a red teamer or uh, application security specialist uh, and I've also been uh, doing a web 3 stuff which I might I don't know maybe I will be considering some roles in um, a web 3 security in the future so plenty of options for me um, in terms of what I want to do moving forward. And uh, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for uh, those of you who are considering a career in cybersecurity and uh, giving you a bit of insight uh, of what it's like uh, working in this industry. 